We've come across a tea entrepreneur who's causing quite a stir on social media with his plans to bin the bag. Just the idea of doing away with the humble tea bag and having tea out of a can has enraged so many people. I'm not convinced either, but I want to see if this guy really deserves all this Twitter hype. 96% of all the tea drunk in Britain is brewed from a bag. So is this just a storm in a teacup? I've come to Surrey to pay Guy Woodle a visit. Hope he's got the kettle on. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hi, Jimmy, I'm Guy. Nice to meet you. No, I'm here for a cup of tea. Right, let's go. Right. Guy's been brewing away in his barn for some time. Now, when it comes to tea, you're a bit of a nutty professor, aren't you? Because what are you doing? Tea bags are a compromise, as far as I'm concerned. They give you a low-quality cup of tea with a nasty, soggy tea bag to get rid of at the end of it. How are you going to make the tea? We're going to use normal loose-leaf tea, proper tea. Look at that. Nice bit of Earl Grey. And so what we're going to do is it's exactly what you would do in, in, in a teapot, except we're going to make it about 30 or 40 times more strong. Once we've made our super strong brew, it goes through a press. Oh, yeah, look at this. Here it comes. I mean, that's super strong. You've got to stand your spoon up in that tea. Guy makes 100 litres of this mega brew for each batch of instant tea, which is then filtered in this cauldron to remove any lingering tea leaves. So once the tea's filtered, what happens next? Next stage is to can it. You can the tea? We put it into aerosol cans. This is the bit I want to see. Shall I show it to you? Yeah, do it. The pasteurised tea goes into sterile sealed aerosol cans, so there's no need for chemical preservatives. I'm quite sceptical if instant tea can be as good as the fresh tea. OK. Do you have a brew off? OK. While I pop the bags in the pot and wait for my brew... Tea bags in there. It's just a quick squirt from Guy and then hot water. Instant tea. And that's done. I'm done. For me, it's a three-minute wait, and I'm ready. See, my grandfather used to be a tea taster, so I yeah. can't mess this up. Let the blind taste test commence. This one first. Now, as tea tasting runs in my family, surely an instant tea in a can will fail to impress my discerning palate. But which one is it? It's all right. <laughs> Cuppa number two. Oh, that's a good cup of tea. That's the tea I like. Terrific. Was that your tea? Oh, that was my tea. <laughs> that was coming out of an aerosol can. Yep. That tea dances on your tongue, doesn't it? Yeah, that's blown me away. Well, I never. But at three times the cost of the average cup of Earl Grey, doing away with a bag will cost you.